Sue Johansson, a beloved sex educator, is dead at 93. How old do you have to be to have an abortion? I picked up this prostitute and I noticed that I have these cold sores on the inside of my lips. Do most men prefer to marry like virgins or is that kind of hard to say? Oh, goodness. Johansson was famous for her call-in programs on Canadian radio and TV. The Sunday night sex show, The Talk Sex with Sue Johansson, she won over audiences of all ages with her frank and candid advice. She died at a long-term care home in Thornhill, Ontario, surrounded by her loved ones. And joining us now is a loved one, Sue's daughter, Jane Johansson, and joins us now. Thank you for coming on the program. We are so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank you. How are you making out today? Um, it's been full on. Yeah, uh, you know, I don't think anyone is ever prepared for the loss of, uh, of a parent, and um, so it's a learning curve. Um, but the phone, my phone has been blowing up, so that has been a good distraction, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it, it is hard losing a parent, no matter at what mm -hmm. age. But this is how we knew your mom. We knew her as a person who gave that frank and candid sex advice with humor, with candor. How did you know yeah. your mom? Um, she was a busy woman who uh, knew her own mind and had um, very strong rules, but was loving and uh, there for us 100%, 100%. So many Canadians really feel like they knew your mother, and I'm going to say I did too, and when I see her mm -hmm. and hear her voice, it's like, oh, that's Sue Johansson. How did mm -hmm. she react to that high profile? My mom was amazing. She could be anywhere at any time. People would recognize her voice. Even in a restaurant from a distance, they would their ears would perk up and they'd look around and know who that was. And they didn't think twice of getting up out of their chair, coming over, introducing themselves, praising her, and then immediately launching into, Sue, I just wonder if you could answer a question for me. And, <laughs> and she was so amenable to it. Um, all along, like forever. She she never brushed people aside. She treated everyone absolutely the same. Um, she was never judgmental, nor was she condescending or um, disapproving of any question that came her way. So she handled the public really well, and I think everybody felt like they had um, another mother or another grandmother with, I... with Sue. I think that's a really great way to put it. And I think people are feeling, who do I go for? go to for advice now. Did she think of herself as a trailblazer? She, she never really looked, she never really observed herself. I think Sue just had a vision and she soldiered forth. And when people came up to her and told her all of these things, she was always um, quite shocked by the accolades, the praise, um, because that's not why she was doing it. I think she loved what she did. She cared about um, people's sex, sexual health, sexual information, um, and she just wanted to be of assistance to people in that way. She why just did, wanted to be there for people. Why did she care about uh, being a sex educator so much? I, I'm wondering if you can tell us the story about you in the 1970s too, what she did. Yeah, she just, she started out just realizing that Teenagers had nowhere to go, and they'd be coming to our house because my sister and I were both teenagers at the time and curious or interested or also in trouble. And um, I think my mom realized, oh, there's a big hole in our public health system here, and I need to fill that hole. And so she realized, I need to create a place where teenagers can go. And it started out with a small birth control clinic in Don Mills High School. And then it just took off from there. And I don't think, she never had an agenda to become a celebrity, to become a big name across Canada, to have a big TV show. None of this was in her radar. This all just slowly um, morphed. And um, I think it came as a surprise to all of us. Wasn't that at your school? <laughs> <That she's> <laughs> no, I went. <laughs> I went to Earl Hegg, but oh, Carol okay. and I both went to Earl Hegg, and we both worked at Don Mills on Monday nights as the receptionists. <laughs> wow. Is there, yeah. is there any question that 
your mother wouldn't answer of yours? Did you go to your mother for sex advice? I don't think any teenager wants to go to their own parent, so <laughs> I avoided it at all costs. I would always go, la, 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 la. I didn't want to hear about it from mom, but um, I knew that because she'd opened the door to the discussions, I knew that if I did have questions, concerns, or if I was at risk in any way, I knew I could go to her. But really, I heard about it through my friends, and so what my friends did was they'd talk to her, and then I would talk to them. What was that like for you? <laughs> Was it awkward? Um, I, no, I, I think at first it was a little awkward when my sister and I were both young. We were a bit awkward about it. But then as we got older, I think our pride just grew and grew. And then we just became so proud of this amazing mother and what she did and what she, uh, the pioneer that she became and what she forged. She just invented a niche for herself and did a beautiful job um, teaching people about sex and sexual health. Is there any question that your mom was asked that really stands out in your mind? Oh, gosh, there's so many. Uh, I think you can YouTube questions that were asked to Sue Johansson and you'll find you'll, your, your head will blow up. Um, anything? No, I think people also would ask her questions on air to try to throw her off her guard. And uh, she never got thrown which was always so impressive. She would always take every question really seriously and, um, and uh, would then get someone off the air quickly if she felt she was um, just being taken for a ride. You know, it's been lovely hearing more about your mom, Jane Johansson. Mm -hmm. We're wishing you all the best and our thoughts and prayers are with you. Thank you so much. She will be missed. She will for sure. I know for you and your family. <laughs> and for all of us too.